Hi, this is Chris McClune with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment. Today I am with Ted Bart. He is the founder, president, and CEO of Tech Trade LLC, producer of the ProTech 8 brand. And so what, to get us started, Ted, why don't you tell me about the ProTech 8 brand, how it got started, just t take me right through it. Right after 9-11, uh, I went back to a, a high school reunion and uh, one of my classmates was a burn during 9-11. And he told me the reason he was burned was because he had to take his gloves off to hit his May Day button. And uh, he said, we're in the 21st century, why can't somebody design a glove that has more dexterity that I could hands on in the fire ground and I don't have to take my gloves off. I had 20 years of high-tech textile experience. I went back to the drawing board and started designing. Uh, it took um, three and a half, almost four years to get prototypes done. Uh, and in 2005, right here at FDIC, we introduced our first uh, rendition of our glove, which was a 2000 edition and FBA certified glove. Okay, now we've got some gloves behind us. Why don't you tell me about your product, talk about the gloves, soup to nuts, you know, tell me about sure. what they are, how they're made. Absolutely. Well, the first idea behind our glove is instead of using a traditional design of two and three layers with real thick textiles and cowhides to use a multi-layer design, which is why we call our gloves ProTech 8. We use eight layers of material. High-tech textiles will we'll use goat skin or kangaroo skin on the outside, A, because they absorb the least amount of water and they're lighter in weight and they have a higher tensile strength. Then after that, we use layers of DuPont Nomex and DuPont Kevlar, and that makes the gloves stronger it gives you thermal properties, it gives you cut resistance. And then we'll, we'll layer it and layer it and layer it so we have eight layers of material between your hand and the fire ground. Um, also, what we did with our gloves is we designed for the first time ever a knuckle guard system. Our knuckle guard system uses a unique multi-layer design also of silicon carbide, Kevlar, and Nomex. Because when you clinch your hand, that's the most vulnerable part of a glove. This is our number one selling glove. It's the Fusion model. We've upgraded it for 2018 certification. It's called the Fusion Pro. The upgrade includes a PTFE moisture barrier. That's the highest level of, of resistance to thermal properties and the highest level of air permeability on the market today. Um, we have over our history for, for Fusion, we have over a million pairs in service around the world today. Our Titan Glove. Our Titan Glove is the exact same design using goat skin on the outside um, as our Fusion Glove. But what we did is for the larger departments who are on their hands and knees and do a lot more work, we added another layer of Nomex to the palm area. Our palm area also includes stitch down palms. We were the first ones to do that. And the reason behind stitch down palms is when you're working with tools on the fire ground, what happens is the glove leather usually bunches up. And when it bunches up, uh, you don't have good dexterity in working with tools and saws and things in your hand. So we stitch down all our gloves. Every glove is made by hand. It takes two and a half hours to make. Um, to enhance our Titan, what we did is we came out with a second Titan glove, which is called the Titan K Pro. The difference between these two gloves is we use 100% kangaroo skin. What's good about kangaroo skin? Kangaroo skin is, has four times the strength of cowhide, and it also absorbs the least amount of water. What happens is during your use on the fire ground, um, your glove will absorb water. This absorbs the least amount, so therefore it won't get heavy and weighed down, and you'll get hand fatigue with the normal standard glove. Last year, we decided to come up with a new invention, which is thermal plastic rubber. Thermoplastic rubber has been out a, as a, uh, a hand guard for many years, but what we designed was a thermoplastic rubber that has FR, or flame retardant tendencies. So what we did is we put it inside our glove underneath a layer of Kevlar. So we brought together a brand new glove this year. It's called the TPRG, that's thermoplastic rubber, gold edition. We use golden color Kevlar on the outside, just like our other standard glove. We did change the palm a little bit. What we did is we have these FR palm pads all around. They act like a cushion to absorb the energy, therefore giving you a, a lot more dexterity and also giving you a better grip on the fire ground. 
Okay, now you you just mentioned a ton of features. Absolutely. And um, if you you know so, but along with that, firefighters, fire departments have a ton of options out there. So what would you say stands out the most about about your gloves? Okay, absolutely. The number one thing we did for the 2018 certification was to put in moisture barrier of PTFE made by Perel in England. And the reason we did that is because it has the highest breathability. It has the highest thermal characteristics. The NFPA has a certain amount of standards for moisture barriers. Our moisture barrier is certified out of the glove, it's certified in the glove. So we're double certified on our moisture barrier. Okay, now, um, if fire departments, firefighters want to find out more about ProTech 8, that brand, how would they do that? Okay, they can contact us at www.protech8.com. Uh, we have evaluation programs. We have. Uh, 85 distributors around the world that we sell through. We sell through distribution. Um, our stock is right here in Indianapolis okay. in our, our distribution center and warehouse. So it's two or three day delivery any place in the United States and Canada. All right, great. Well, again, this has been Chris McClune with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment with Ted Bart of uh, the brand ProTech Gate. I want to thank you for taking some time out to talk to us today. I know it's a pretty busy show, so I'll let you get back to it. Thank you, Chris. All right, great. Appreciate Thanks a lot, Ted. It. Thank you.